ocular myosis. It sounds complicated, but it's a straightforward, if unpleasant, condition. In simple terms, it's a parasitic infestation. Specifically, it's when flies, yes flies, decide your eyes look like a great place to lay their eggs. These eggs hatch into larvae, and those larvae, well, they start feasting. They feed on the tissues in and around the eye. Not a pleasant thought, is it? It's crucial to understand this condition, how to spot it, and what to do if you suspect you might have it. The flies responsible for this condition are usually from the family of bot flies or blow flies. They are attracted to open wounds or moist areas, making the eyes a prime target. Symptoms can include severe irritation, redness, and a sensation of something moving in the eye. Early diagnosis and treatment are essential to prevent serious damage to the eye. Treatment often involves the careful removal of the larvae and may require medication to prevent infection. With prompt medical attention, most people recover fully without long-term effects. Stay informed and seek medical help if you notice any unusual symptoms in your eyes. The symptoms of ocular myosis are hard to ignore. They can be quite distressing and uncomfortable, making it essential to recognize them early. One of the first things you'll notice is irritation. This irritation can start subtly, but often becomes more pronounced over time. It's like having something constantly stuck in your eye. This sensation can be incredibly frustrating and persistent. This irritation is often accompanied by redness. The redness can spread across the entire eye, making it look inflamed and sore. Your eye will be bloodshot, inflamed and sore. The soreness can make it difficult to keep your eye open for extended periods. Tearing is another telltale sign. Your eye will produce tears in an attempt to flush out the irritant. Your eye will water excessively trying to flush out the irritant. This can lead to constant wiping and discomfort. Unfortunately, tears alone won't do the trick. The larvae are resilient and won't be easily dislodged by tears. As the larvae burrow and feed, they can cause visual disturbances. These disturbances can range from mild to severe. You might experience blurred vision, floaters, or even temporary blindness. These symptoms can be alarming and should not be ignored. The discharge is also common. This discharge can vary in consistency and color. It can be watery, sticky, or even bloody. The presence of discharge is a clear sign that something is wrong. The feeling of something being in your eye is constant. This sensation can be maddening and lead to constant rubbing. This foreign body sensation is due to the movement of the larvae. The larvae's movement can be felt and sometimes even seen. Photophobia or sensitivity to light is another symptom. This sensitivity can make it difficult to be in bright environments. Bright light will feel painful. This pain can be sharp and intense, making it hard to function normally. In some cases, you might even see the larvae themselves. This can be a shocking and horrifying experience, underscoring the need for immediate medical attention. Several fly species are responsible for ocular myosis, a condition where fly larvae infest the eye. The most common culprits are bot flies, screwworms and houseflies. Each of these flies has a unique way of causing this condition. Bot flies, in particular, are notorious for laying their eggs near the eyes. Once the eggs hatch, the larvae can burrow into the skin and migrate to the eye, causing severe irritation and potential damage. They're attracted to warmth and moisture, making the eye an ideal breeding ground. The human eye provides the perfect environment for these larvae to thrive leading to infections and other complications. Screwworms, on the other hand, prefer open wounds but can also target the eyes. They lay their eggs in open sores and the larvae can then move to the eye, causing significant discomfort and potential vision loss. Houseflies, while not as common as the other two, can also transmit the larvae through their feces or contaminated feet. They often land on food or surfaces, spreading the larvae to humans. These flies are attracted to unsanitary conditions, making hygiene a crucial factor in prevention. Regular cleaning and proper waste disposal can significantly reduce the risk of ocular myosis. Ensuring that wounds are properly covered and maintaining good personal hygiene are essential steps in preventing these fly infestations. Anyone can get ocular myosis, but certain factors increase your risk. Poor hygiene is a major contributor. Living in areas with poor sanitation or inadequate waste disposal significantly heightens your chances of encountering these flies. 
Travel to tropical or subtropical regions also poses a risk. These regions have a higher prevalence of flies that transmit myosis. Children, especially those playing outdoors in rural areas, are particularly vulnerable. Section 5. Tackling Ocular Myiasis Treatment Options Treatment for ocular myiasis aims to eliminate the larvae and prevent further complications. Early diagnosis and prompt treatment are essential to minimize damage to the eye. The first line of treatment typically involves the physical removal of the larvae. This procedure should only be performed by a healthcare professional to avoid further injury to the eye. Topical or systemic medications might also be prescribed to kill the larvae and prevent secondary infections. Section 6. The Importance of Mechanical Removal While medications play a role in treatment, mechanical removal of the larvae is paramount. This involves using fine forceps or a specialized irrigation system to extract the larvae from the eye. Local anesthesia is usually administered to numb the eye and minimize discomfort during the procedure. It's a delicate procedure that requires expertise to avoid pushing the larvae deeper into the eye. Section 7. Beyond removal, additional treatments. After the larvae are removed, your doctor might prescribe antibiotic or anti-inflammatory eye drops to prevent infection and reduce inflammation. In some cases, oral antibiotics might be necessary to treat systemic infections. Pain relievers can help manage any discomfort or pain associated with the condition. It's crucial to follow your doctor's instructions carefully and complete the full course of treatment. Section 8. Prevention is key. Preventing ocular myosis is far easier than treating it. Maintaining good personal hygiene is paramount. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water, especially before touching your eyes. If you're traveling to areas with a high risk of myosis, take extra precautions. Use insect repellent, wear protective clothing like hats and long sleeves, and sleep under mosquito nets. Dispose of garbage properly and keep your surroundings clean to deter flies. Section 9. Conclusion. Protecting your sight. Ocular myosis is a serious condition that can have lasting consequences for your vision. By understanding the causes, symptoms and prevention strategies, you can significantly reduce your risk of contracting this parasitic infection. Remember, early detection and treatment are crucial for a positive outcome. If you suspect you might have ocular myosis, consult a healthcare professional immediately. Don't wait. Your vision depends on it.